Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Another video brought to you by Rib. Today I'm going to show you how to create a ARM3 life server, but today it's going to be a Tanoa, so it's going to be a server on the dev build or on the Apex build. Um, this will, The same methods will apply for a stable version, it's just one bit of code that's different, uh, which I'll come to when we go through that. The folder provided is everything you will need. It's the mod packs, i.e. CBA, Task Force Radio News Conf Configure for the TFR, EXDB and live servers for the database with the live server. At Hayes Tanoa is the mod pack for the Tanoa server and easylife.tanoa is the mission file. EXDB is for the database information, TATST is how we launch server and that's for the memory. But we'll go through these one at a time when we do it because we're going to be setting up a server from scratch. So C drive, let's just create a, f a folder in here and let's call it uh, call it Tanoa. Because today I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to provide you a already worked on fully modded Tanoa live server. It gives you a head start, a good foundation to work on. Uh, so let's just call that Tanoa. There is two programs you already need before you can get to this step and all, all this is is a, an install and that is XAMP and Navcat Lite. This is what the information stores your database information. Okay, so that's XAMP and Navcat Lite. Let's go and Google if you haven't got these already. If, you, if, the, if it isn't starting, then more than likely it's your firewall, just, yeah, unlock it on your firewall, allow it through your firewall, and it should work, and I've got like, so let's go back to our folder we've just created, and the next fold, file we need, should I say folder file, let me just get rid of this, Steam CMD, let's just copy that, here's Steam CMD, C drive, to know that we just created, paste that in there, Steam CMD, run it. As you can see it's creating a load of stuff here. Okay, what you need to do now is type in login your Steam name, mine is Goa UK Rib space your password. Obviously uh, I'm not going to show you my password so we'll skip this little section. But what we need to do is go app underscore update space two three three seven eight oh space validate this is the code for the just normal stable armor three uh, this is what we do and it will download it all into here but I don't want to do that so I'm going to cancel that so that's the code and that's the the number the ID for the armor three version but we need to get rid of this it shouldn't take too long it hasn't installed much get rid of that because we want to install the development or the apex branch so let's go back we need to get steam cmd again steam cmd come to me back to the tenora folder paste that in there okay we're gonna have to log in and everything again okay we're back guys obviously i did that just to skip my uh, details uh, so now we need to use a bit of code to install the actual Armour 3 server into this directory. Uh, there's two different versions of code. There's the stable, which is just a normal Armour 3, and then there's the development branch or Apex branch, which is for the Tanoa and the Apex. So if you wanted to install just a normal Armour 3 server, you, you would type app underscore update space 233780 space validate and then it will download all the essential files in here. Exactly same applies for the development, it's just a different bit of code. But we want to install the development, so we go app underscore update and the code for the development is 107410 space hyphen beta space apex underscore sneak underscore preview space validate. Hit enter on that and as you can see it's going to be quite a big update so it's going to take quite a while going to download all the essential files we need for starting the server. So when this is done I will resume. Right we're back fully installed it took quite a while it is quite a big download um, so let's go to if we go to Steam Apps Common Armor 3 We've got the expansion pack, so this is an Apex, going to be the Apex server. So there's a few things we need. One file I did forget was the SQL file for the database 
that's for Navcat. So let's put that back in the folder so I don't forget for you guys. New folder, let's go over there. Right, so first things first, let's bring over the the mod and the live server on the exdb so all these basically and that and the user config folder let's copy them let's go to where's that to know folder we've still got open uh, let's go down to know our mm, yep so this is it so let's just plonk these in here they're about seven gig the cells so yeah yeah so that'll take two secs so once these are in, we've got all the mods in the directory. We've got the exdb and the live server in the correct directory. Then we're going to bring our mission file over, bring tadst over, and then we'll sort out the database. And then we should be good good to go. Obviously, everything I did bar the code in the Steam CMD is exactly the same to set up a normal Armor 3 server, not Apex version. Same again, this is going to take a few minutes. I suppose we could, could move over stuff anyway. So, the mission file, copy that. Go back to the Tanoa folder. Go to MP missions, pop that in there. I'll go on the transfer list. Let's go back to this folder. So, we've done all the folders. That's for the database, which we're going to do in a sec. Now, this TB. Malloc, all these three need to just go in the armor directory. So copy them, copy, go to the t armor 3 directory in the Tanoa folder, go back to the armor 3, scroll down a bit, just plonk them here. Also on the list, the main folders 33%. Then we'll do the, once they've all transferred, we'll do the database and we're good to go. I might as well get this zipped up for you guys. So much going on, it's going to take fucking ages. Just called no, it's called no, so don't panic, it's just called no. Right, let's go here a sec. Ooh. Okay, the server's going to have a meltdown, the amount it's got going on. 50%. I'll resume when this is all done and then we'll set up the database. Okay, we're back. Everything's been transferred. Affirmative, yes. Everything's. Come on, get the last couple in. Sweet. So if we go to our Armour 3 directory, we should have all our mods. Uh, CBA, Task Force, and the user config folder aff confirm, XDB, and live server affirmative. Uh, so, first thing you want to do, let's go to sort our database out. So, let's find the exdb.conf that we just added in here. Edit this. I should have done this, this is lagging me out. Can we pause it? Pause. Okay, so let's scroll down database information down here the database we're going to name it armor3 life um, username is Hayden and the password is Hayden Hayden 3 and the port is 3306 okay so make sure you add that information or just use or just copy exactly what I'm doing and use this file so just cancel that as long as that looked like that and we need to go to navcat light you can close steam cmd Minimize example or graph steam cmd. Right, open up navcat. Go to connections, MySQL, connection name, let's call it Armor 3 Life. Okay, you can leave the rest, port 3306, go okay. That port is what is on your XAMP. MySQL 3306. Okay, so open this up. Already got an old one there, let's delete it. So, users, I've already got my user Hayden there. If you haven't, just go to new user, user.
username Hayden host localhost password Hayden3 confirm password Hayden3 make sure you do this okay because you won't have the already have the user save it click server privileges server privileges make sure you click all them okay save and you're all good so don't save that for me so what I need to do is go to right click armor 3 life execute SQF file and I've got it on the desktop to your folder let's browse for it here it is open start okay close so what you can do is close navcap reopen it just for a refresh I'm a three life and there's your database all sorted so database is sorted you did the xdb conf inside the uh, your armor 3 directory we did that before we did the navcat so let's go back to our Tanoa folder go to armor directory at steam apps common armor 3 mod folders live survey xdb is all sorted database is all sorted xdb is sorted um, next thing and last thing to do is set up tatst tadsd run Okay, start. I will start with diff. No, we'll start with mods. CBA, EXDB, Haze to know what, Life underscore server, Task Force Radio. That'll do ya. Go to missions. Haze to know what, Details. Just type what you want the server to be called. Uh, let's see uh, what else do we need on there? Amount of players. I'll select the executable. Make sure this it should be. Yeah, it was. See maps. Come on, armor three. We want to select armor three server. Open. Launch. And that's your server going to be online. Second half of the video. I'll just do a bit of showcase of what this mission file already has on it and what it's already already like so yeah good luck with it um, remember to leave a like and subscribe peace out hope it helps adios amigos we're back we're back I was just going to show you some more of the uh, well some work that was done already uh, on the Tanoa development server so as you can see the markers are all down, everything has been placed, everything's been placed very nicely. There's about six car shops, loads of different modded cars, etc. Uh, red light districts, casinos, you name it. Uh, but the quite the custom builds are over here and the nightclub and over here, the police department. So let's go and check them out for you. Uh, skip around. Oh no, we don't have to do that. Let's go to the camera. Take off that. Let's go. Here's the prison. Took quite a while. So yeah, deserves a like and a subscribe, don't you think? These were added just because obviously it's in development branch and they're still they're still obviously working on it. So a little ID hidden code on them. That's what I would do. But I've stopped development on this one because I'm back on my lakeside. But yeah, it's looking pretty damn nice. There's a key card system on here as well, so only the cops can get in these places. Indeed. I think the NPC needs moved though, he's in the PD, so let's go over to the PD, which is a nice place because you come over the bridge and you're into the main town and like this PD. Didn't get a chance to play it to be fair, but things have changed, things have changed, I've got other projects on the go as well as the Lakeside Valley, so I won't have time to carry on with this anytime soon, so I might as well let you guys use it, I know you like using the missions, and obviously you come out of your PD go over the bridge and you're in Georgetown, the main town in Tanoa. But the nightclub was pretty ingenious, pretty creative as always from Ribster. If you look up in the hills, you see the flashing lights. There it is. Let's go higher, higher, higher. Here we are. Nightclub with a beautiful view over Georgetown. Pretty awesome, huh? Well, I hope you like, guys. Remember, uh, like.
like, subscribe. See you again. Adios, amigos.